<laughs> this fucking Andrew Tate thumbnail. <laughs> this thumbnail's crazy, bro. It's beautiful. Oh man, magnificent work, honestly. It's really good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, never do it again. But you know, well, I'm gonna wonderful. keep doing it actually. <laughs> Um, aside from the passing of Jason David Frank, I don't think we really have anything for this week. Um, hold on, let me readjust this, pull this down. My bad, I had to move my mic. No, not that. Um, I was trying to buy God of War on the Steam sale, but they want like they still want 40 for it, so that's a big that's absolutely a not. That's a good number. It is, but not for a game I've watched a lot. Mm, I see. Okay, good point. Good point. $30, maybe. $30 is definitely a maybe. It's a good game, but I don't know. Mm. This one, I feel like I watched a lot of it, and now all of the... All of the joy not the joy but uh fuck what am i trying to get like all the excitement for it is gone mm -hmm. because it's it's a pretty old game now mm. i feel it i feel it it is four years old that'll, that'll tend to happen especially when you watch very pivotal moments of it you know live streams and content and whatnot um I haven't been paying attention to it. I mean, I haven't picked up God of War at all, uh, just because, you know, like I stated, personal reasons. So I'm not picking it up. Um, I probably won't pick it up until it's $40. So, uh, which will be a while considering video games are $70 a piece now. Um, <laughs> holy shit. Yeah. It's so much money. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard or seen anything except for the beginning of the game where Thor brings you back to life after he like smacks you. Yeah. Um, uh, have you been watching PM play the game? Uh, the, yeah, I've already, he's already finished it. Oh, he's already finished it. Ah, he's okay. been finished right. with it for a while. Wow. For a guy who works as much as he does. I don't know how he plays all those video games. Um, he had time. <laughs> I think he was off. That's why. Oh, he took the time off. Damn. That's crazy. No, he just had, off. uh, did he say, uh, he enjoyed the game? Like, yeah. What were, yeah. What were his, any, any idea what his thoughts might be? He said it was a good game. But I mean, he kind of beelined the story so that um, oh. he could get it through. Well, he played that shit like he was a content creator. Goddamn. True. Mm. Mm -mm. But I mean, right. he said he enjoyed it. I mean, it looked pretty good. So. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. There are a couple of things I don't like about it, but. Hmm. Okay. Like but what? I'm also not going to play that shit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> not for like six years. Gotcha. Gotcha. If at all. Mm. <clears throat> Once I know all the stories, I was like, oh, well, I guess I could play it, but I didn't even play God of War 4 and I, I bought, I bought it on PS4, but like, I don't know. Something about playing in 30 FPS is not it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Ain't no way, bro. Very. Why? What's the, what's the holdup about 30 frames, bro? What's the holdup? It's shit. It's terrible. There's mad input delay. It's garbage. Mad input delay. Really? Yes. You sure that's not just the PS4 copy? Well, that's probably the P. It probably is the PS4 copy. Oh, okay. Yeah, because PS5, I don't. I don't have to. Even on, when I was playing on PS4, I don't know about this delay, but you know, I don't know. Somebody nah, might need to it, clean I their jet it. engines. I have the. <laughs> I have the original PS4. <laughs> Oh, that's probably why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I was the playing on the Pro. The first PS4, the one that dropped. Uh, oh, okay. All right. That 2014 one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the one that... <laughs> when you turn it on. Yeah. That one. That's the one. <laughs> I know. I'm very familiar with that joint. So, okay. Well, yeah, that might have been it. Uh, who knows? We'll get you a PS5 soon. Don't worry. We'll get you on there. Yeah, okay. Pretty soon. I mean, this podcast is taking off, man. Have you seen some of the numbers? Yeah, man, the 30, 35 views, baby. We're going everywhere. Uh, hey, listen. The last one was 22. So, mm. <laughs> you know what the fuck going on? Okay. <laughs> All right, listen, man, listen. So, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, uh, 
obviously this is a big deal. Rest in peace, Jason David Frank. If you guys don't know who JDF is, um, some of you might not be old enough, but the original series of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, he was Tommy, Tommy Oliver. Um, rest in peace to my man. Uh, it's reported allegedly that, I, I say allegedly, but there's been multiple sources confirming it. I just, I don't believe them. Um, that he took his own life, uh, which I don't, I don't know about that. He was the age of 49, so shout out to him. He was one of my original heroes, man. Um, mm. Not going to lie. Uh, when I was growing up and watching Power Rangers and stuff, I mean like er, like early Saturday mornings and the Ivan Ooze movie. Like this, this guy started it all, man. Like I couldn't even tell you the rest of the, the other Power Rangers. I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> I really couldn't. I know there's Amy Jo Johnson, who is uh, Kimberly, the Pink Ranger. That's mm. it. Outside of that, I couldn't tell you anybody else. Oh, and I remember the black guy's name. I think his name is Zach, or was that the Asian guy? I, I don't even remember. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, so rest in peace to him, man. Uh, yeah. Absolute legend. Uh, he really, honestly, I think he probably sparked the imagination of millions of children that grew to be actors and filmmakers and stuff like that. So uh, it, it kind of sucks that we're giving the this guy his flowers you know this this late him and kevin conroy actually like people are just discovering like his entire catalog and all of the stuff that kevin conroy did like you know rest in peace to both of these guys man it it kind of sucks it's like watching your childhood fall apart especially it's because serious. one yeah it, it's like one after the other i mean why can't they why can't life take you know useless people like i don't know blue face you know what i'm saying right. like some somebody who's not contributing anything to society except for pure ignorance you know what i mean like him and his buck tooth girlfriend bro i just i i don't understand like did you see the stream with with them uh with kai sanat the other day i think i saw i saw a clip literally earlier before this this podcast where they like kicked him out of his seat or whatever yeah yeah no no no, no. i kicked him out of his seat he was like okay i'm gonna let he he basically told Blueface, he's like, okay, I'm gonna let you, you know, pretend to host the stream or whatever. And um, so he was like trying to set up some chat stuff so that way he could see it. And he was like, no, 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 come on, come up out the chair. And like, you know, they were like, you know, messing around and stuff like that. And his girlfriend comes over and grabs him by the shoulder and yanks him out the chair. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, and at first, when I saw that clip, I was like, hmm, wouldn't let that shit happen to me. <laughs> but then again, I, I forget that that's what. That's what Kai's streams are. It's just, you know, this goofy, you know, entertainment. Like, I support Kai. I think he's a dope content creator uh, for, you know, the content that he does make, if that even is content. But uh, as I subtly shade this man, he's very successful, obviously. So I can only hate so much. Um, it's just not my type of content. I would, I, would never, I would never watch his content. Like, it's cool for clips, but I would never watch his content. Mm. You know, more power to him though let that let that man get money so number one twitch streamer in the world baby yes sir guys yes sir yes sir it's nice that i can absolutely shade a human being and then give them props in the same sentence so i truly am a an evolved individual so yeah of course yeah, yeah. you're just so you're not hating because you're broke actually that's exactly what i'm doing <laughs> No. <laughs> that's exactly what i'm doing i'm hating because i'm hating specific i'm not hating because i'm uh uh, what is it? Because I'm a hater. I'm not hating because I'm a hater. I'm hating for a specific reason. Because mm. I'm broke. True. So, you know, I don't want anybody thinking like, oh, he's he's a hater. No, I'm not. That man is rich. I'm not. That's why I hate him. So, let it be clear. <laughs> I don't want anybody getting shit mixed up. So, um, mm. the other piece of news that I thought was very interesting that we can talk about for a second is apparently Amaranth had a uh, a, a stream the other day. Uh, and she streamed her first date with a new boyfriend, um, which is very interesting. Um, <laughs> because it was, a, it? it was, yeah, <laughs> is, I mean, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have some mixed feelings about it. Uh, only because less that it's Amaranth and more that it's a woman that is divorcing her husband and is already moving on to another man, right? Okay. obviously you know how i feel about that i'd be like she was plotting you know what i mean like it was already time like you know what i mean it's not like these two people have a family with each other they do have 
had a business. So I just think it's very, very interesting that she would publicize not only like that she is dating somebody, but that after one or two dates, he's already considered her boyfriend and she's already using that language like about like him being on OnlyFans with her and that, you know, it's it's moving so quickly publicly like bitch be quiet like why can't you do anything quietly i don't un- i don't understand mm. like i get that you had this public falling out with your husband and all this other stuff you know rest in peace to that man i hope he's sleeping soundly at night knowing that he fumbled um but it, it just seems like a little bit too much like relax homegirl like did you not have anything else to do to talk about to post you know what i mean like uh so her original post was on I think it was two days ago. Yeah, one or two days ago. I don't know. Um, and she posted a, a selfie and it says, guess what? And then she uh, quote tweeted herself and, she's, and uh, she put, see my boyfriend debut on my OnlyFans, link in bio. And I'm like, all right, that's a little, that's a little bit much. This is interesting. And then she tweets after that with a follow-up tweet. She said, this is supposed to be a boy-girl content not bf content and i'm like see these acronyms gotta change <laughs> these acronyms gotta change because bg in my head is boy girl right or be gone <laughs> i don't really use be gone um but bf is best friend boyfriend like what the I, i'm confused i'm confused so is she supposed to say hey see my debut boy girl content which if i I, i'm not sure but why are you you know confusing the words boyfriend with and then just like tweeting subtweeting yourself like like just you know tweeting in a response like under that tweet you know what i mean like why didn't you quote tweet that with a correction and not only that I know she has access to the Twitter edit button because she's verified. So this bitch could have edited it at any point, any time. She still could, even at this very moment. She could edit that tweet. Like, so, um, I don't know. Doing doing all this all this stuff publicly just sits a little weird with me. So I'm just like, okay, I guess. Um, uh, apparently he's 34. He's a bodybuilder. So not much of a gamer. He's a personal trainer from what people have dug up on the internet. Jesus um, Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is why you don't publicize shit. At least in my yeah, it just it just seems a little weird because not only that, like, okay, if this guy is not, he's not a person, uh, he's not a Twitch streamer, he's not a content creator of any kind. You know, he's a personal trainer. Like, obviously, there's only so much like attention that he's probably used to. You're essentially like shoving this man into the limelight now. Like, I I hope he knows what he's getting into because Amaranth is one of the most discussed. Uh, talked about and and just like huge controversial pieces when it comes to Twitch and online gaming, just, you know, the entire industry basically. So the amount of scrutiny that these weirdos are going to have on him, like imagine like, you know, the, the, the world of Warcraft dude from, (laughs) from South Park. Imagine that dude having an opinion on a fucking bronze, you know, bodybuilder. Like, have you seen a, let me show you a picture of this dude. Hold on. I'm going to post a picture. (laughs) I'm going to post a picture that's in the article. This dude is is yoked. This dude is yoked. Imagine a dude that's like 450 pounds, like sub tier three sub for Amaranth, tier three chair. sub for Pokey. And he's poking, sh- he's like talking shit about this dude with a chiseled fucking jawline <laughs> and, and biceps that are, that are just like ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like I just... I don't know. Obviously, this guy should be able to to handle this uh, this amount of uh, attention, we'll call it. But like, it just seems a little unnecessary. I I, I would have like if it was me, I would have been like, "Yo, can we like do a slow rollout? Like, you know, what is the what do they call it? A soft launch? Like when women mm. start to post their boyfriends? Yeah, yeah. Can we do like a soft launch? Like, can you put my foot in a post one day or something like that? Or maybe I I walk." in the back of your stream and be like, oop, and, and like turn around or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, this just seems like you shoved him into the light. You know what I mean? And like, people are going to have this scrutiny, not of, not just of her, but like of him and like how this can affect him mentally. Obviously, like this can only affect him like to a certain amount personally, but like, holy shit, dude, this is, 
This is a lot. This is a lot. This would be a lot for me. That's for sure. So I mean, maybe he's used to it. I feel like these things are probably discussed behind closed doors. At least, I mean, maybe it's probably good for his business too, right? If he's a personal trainer. So I doubt he's like too much. Uh, he's he's complaining too much about it. I mean, I guess unless he's like uh, one of these like Austin Dunham and he's like online exclusive trainers, you know, like digital trainers and, you know, they like FaceTime you and shit like that. Like uh, otherwise, you know, imagine like having this guy as your trainer and then, you know, it's like, oh, aren't you the guy that's banging Amaranth? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, bro. Nice dick. Like, <laughs> nice dick is crazy. <laughs> nice dick is a crazy thing. Yo, first of all. If I had a trainer and he was fucking Amaranth and I saw that man's meat on the internet, bro, I'm what? paying my trainer, bro. Like, I'm paying my trainer so I can look like him. Does the, is the meat included? That's what I want to know. Hey, yo. Is, is the, the meat, meat included, included bro? Crazy. <laughs> what kind of diet I got to get on to get on that meat? You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. Hey, pause, 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 yo. Pause. <laughs> That's not what I meant, <laughs> nah, That's not what I meant bro. That's not what I meant. Listen, listen. You, you and I both know. Listen, it's fine. You good? All right. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I just, you know, words falling out of my mouth. Anyway, it, look, man, shut up. So Something anyway. Else falling out of your mouth, too. <laughs> hey, 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 yo, yo. Chill, chill just with drool, that, bro. Drool, drool, chill, 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 <laughs> chill. Listen, listen, let me go get my chapstick. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I just, I don't know if this is like planned. And like you said, this probably was discussed ahead of time, but like. I don't even know for this to be like, it's less than 24 hours and there's already multiple articles just on this one dude. Like people have pulled up like his, his socials. People have pulled up like his job history. People have pulled up like his, his previous dating history and like pictures of his ex-girlfriend and stuff like that. Like, bro, people have like relentless. And this is just from a connection to a tweet with Amaranth and the, and the live stream. You know what I mean? Like, if you get this type of publicity just from going on a date with Amaranth, I'm trying to wait a minute. Hold up. Let me see some trying no, to nah. uh, listen from <laughs> nah, this is nuts. You're not trying to go from the meat to the meet and greet. Come on. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <clears throat> but seriously, joke jokes aside, man, this is this just seems like nah, this it would is be a crazy lot. Shit. The internet yeah, is yeah. a crazy fucking place. Yeah, to pull up this man's like I'm One sure there's time. somebody who has who's doxed him already, like who has his family's address and shit like that. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh yeah, like, if the, if there's already multiple like articles out, hundred percent. Yeah, they so, got his shit. Yeah, they they got this man's address. They got his house. So you know, I wouldn't if I were a personal trainer, I would no longer train people the same way. I'd be like, nope, sorry, digital only. Uh, I'm cutting prices by like forty percent. Yeah, we only doing this FaceTime because you never know who who's gonna pop up. You know what I mean? Like somebody may. May think like, damn, I thought it was my chance with Amaranth. Now that she's no longer with her husband, I'm going to pull up on her house. Like, you know what I mean? Like, people are crazy, man. People are absolutely crazy. So. This was just one time, too. This was, yeah, this is just one time. And this has only been, it's only been 24 hours since she, since she posted the tweet. So, you know, it's just, anything could happen in the next who knows how long. You know what I mean? Like, and I hope you don't have tiny meat, to be honest with you. Like, no. Like Bro. no no weird shit. I hope like I hope homie is packing because as soon as he shows up on the OnlyFans, you know people front up, front to go crazy on him. You know what I mean? Like imagine dating Amaranth and you have tiny meat. Bro, like, and she she revealed his face before she revealed his revealed his meat. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, the meat reveal is crazy. <laughs> the meat reveal the probably meat would go a lot better. Wild. Because if you think about it this way, like people are people are, you know, like essentially doxing him his entire life, combing through everything he's ever done online, like with a fine tooth comb. Right. Mm -hmm. But if it's just the meat reveal, like <gasps> whose meat is that? You know what I'm saying? Like you can't you can't put a pick comparison and like find his meat on the Internet. You know what I'm saying? Like Bro. it would have been much more secretive. That's a that's a better soft boyfriend reveal, in my opinion. Show the meat first. Don't show the man's face. So show the meat first is crazy. <laughs> the meat is crazy. I'm just saying, man, like, it's just, I don't know. This just seemed like a lot, like, uh, I, he, he's a better man than me. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I would have been like, I don't know, too many. Then again, like, would, uh, I mean, it's Amaranth. I know you don't find Amaranth attractive, but, like. That is true, but, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. This, this is a crazy level that they, they go to for, for people on the internet, to be honest. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, this is. This is know. like some real obsessive shit. Bro, people really got have nothing to do. Like people are this bored. Like it's it's absolutely crazy that like people find a thrill in like jeopardizing other people's safety and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like it's just so strange to me. So fucking strange. I can't even figure it out why. I mean, I don't I guess I know why, but it's very strange to see people like doing shit like this. I <laughs> This doesn't sit right with me, man. This doesn't sit right with me at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's now, gonna be titled "Is like the that. meat included?" Is the meat included? <laughs> the thumbnail is pending. Yo, I, okay, I don't. You know what? I'll let you figure it out, man. <laughs> I'm not about to say nothing else. I don't want to incriminate myself in anything further, bro. Like at all. So, <laughs> absolutely not. But um, let me see. Do we have anything else to to talk about? Uh, let's see. We talked about Kai Sinat. Um. Oh, oh, apparently Andrew Andrew Tate coming oh, yeah, back to Twitter. Unbanned. Him and uh, he got unbanned. Him, him, Trump, and and Kanye, all of them unbanned. Lucky them. Yeah, yeah. Twitter about to be a wild place, man. I mean, okay. it was already kind of wild. Like, they, I don't know if you. Uh, so were you keeping up with like Twitter news since last Thursday? Uh, in terms of what, like shit just going on? Yeah, shit just going on. Like Elon fucking up the. You know, oh, fucking yeah. up when the people ecosystem thought and everything. Twitter was going uh Twitter was crashing or whatever. Yeah, people thought Twitter was shutting down. So uh just for context for anybody that is not familiar, uh last week Elon announced uh to Twitter staff basically saying that there's gonna be a huge shift in Twitter and that it is going to be more engineer and idea focused, which is going to require people to have longer work hours, work on the weekends more diligently than ever before, like real crunch time type of shit. And so he sent out an email and a contract to every single Twitter employee, um, basically confirming all of that. And if they agree to those terms and conditions, if not, then they would be given a, I think it was three year severance or something like that. Their salary up to three years, basically. Um, and they would be fired effective immediately. So apparently, uh, I think the number was 51% of tw active Twitter employees res resigned this week. They were like, we're not signing this. Absolutely not. So um, I think that was like, I want to say it was like 41,000. I can't remember the exact number, but it was thousands of, of actual like employees, both remote and in the offices and stuff like that. So that's been very interesting. And people thought that a large portion of the engineering team was also leaving. Uh, he had already replaced them. Like he already had an idea of who was leaving, who was not leaving. So there were already teams brought into place. Um, and on Thursday, the people who signed those documents had a job Thursday evening. Whoever didn't did no longer have it, no longer had a job. So uh, over the weekend, Twitter was panicking that apparently there was going to be a Twitter shutdown. There's not enough people working. Really, really good content for memes. Amazing, amazing content for memes, man. Of course, you know, black people everywhere uh, had had to figure out who was performing at the at Twitter's funeral. Like, you know, what the potluck was going to look like. You know, of course, black people on Twitter can't take shit seriously. Like, <laughs> so... Uh, turns out that by monday he was going to have all of the new teams put back in um i'm not gonna lie man the way elon is is running twitter is just like he's like a a discord mod who hasn't figured out like oh am i allowed to do this am i allowed to do that like he's just discovering his power for the first time mm. uh and it's it's really just giving like lack of leadership honestly i um he said for the time being he's going to be running twitter until he can find an interim ceo um, which I think is good, please. Uh, he needs to stop touching shit, stop hitting buttons, because uh, whatever the fuck you're doing, you're fucking it up. But also at the same time, there's like underlining stuff that basically like underneath stuff that people aren't really like paying attention to. Uh, when Elon first got Twitter and he first acquired it uh, and he laid off, like I think it was like 40% of the staff or whatever, uh, that staff was actually... Uh, part of the previous investigations he was doing when trying to buy Twitter the first time. So essentially, he didn't want to buy Twitter. Uh, he backed out of the first deal because he found out that a large portion of the current 
uh, user base is either duplicate accounts or bots. Um, as well as I think it was like 22% of users are not have not been active in the last five years. So really the Twitter board of directors, eh, they were like trying to, you know, prop up all of these numbers like, hey, we have this million users, uh, all of this, that and the other thing. And then it turns out like it was all bots. A lot of it was fake and all of this other stuff. So that's why he laid off like a ton of those people. Also mm. in that investigation, he found out that within that 40 some odd percent of people that were laid off more than half of them were taking bribes for verifications. Fuck? Yes. So they were taking bribes from not only uh, unverified accounts and like users and content creators and stuff like that. They were charging some of these people upwards of $15,000 for verification for a year, like just for a year, not even Damn. permanent verification. So also, a lot of the engineering team, a, lo a lot of the moderation team was fired uh, because they were also taking those bribes as well as promoting and pushing um, content that was inappropriate for Twitter, content that was considered uh, fake news or uh, perpetuating false narratives or anything like that. And there was an alarming amount of evidence for that since 2016 and the 2016 election as well as the 2020 election. So those people obviously had to be fired. So because of all of these investigations, it kind of looks a little strange, like, oh shit, he just comes up in there and he, he just flat earths everything, which, uh, okay, I guess. Uh, the only other thing that I was a little confused by is his um, monetization of like Twitter verification. Um, yeah. His idea was Twitter to blue. do that so that way, yeah, Twitter blue. Um, well, I mean, Twitter Blue's already been around for over a year. It was just adding the checkmark part to the, uh, like the verified part to Twitter Blue. Because with Twitter Blue, you could edit tweets, you could, um, you had more access to bookmarks, you had an entire separate section of notifications just for like, uh, close friends and like your Twitter circle and stuff like that. Those are like paid features, right? As mm -hmm. well as discounts yeah. on promoting your own tweets and content and stuff like that. So in order to change that and make it a little bit more, okay, who really wants to be on Twitter and who just wants to use Twitter? That's what the Twitter blue subscription was for with the verification included. Um, I don't think he took into consideration what that was going to look like as far as spreading uh, falsified news or uh, impersonations or anything, because $8 is not very steep for me to pretend to be LeBron James and say, uh, fuck LA, I'm going back to Cleveland. You know what I mean? Like some of these more viral tweets that existed, which were crazy because people absolutely believed them because they saw the check mark. Um, mm. And then him talking to the engineering team and then changing the check mark to the check mark official, which was supposed to be the white check mark compared to the blue one, uh, which that ended up getting scrapped 24 hours later after realizing a check mark is still a check mark, and then taking away the entire Twitter blue service altogether. So now even if you had Twitter blue or were considering getting Twitter blue, not even for the verification, but just for all the tools and stuff that you got, like the extra creator tools, you it's no longer available. Like you just can't, can't get it anymore. Um, there's also been uh, reports that if you are a subscriber of Twitter blue and you did it via desktop, you actually have to contact Twitter customer service because the drop down menu and all of the other like add ons specifically for Twitter blue have been removed from the website. So even if you wanted to cancel your subscription, you can't unless you directly contact uh, Twitter customer service. So that's getting reported a lot. Um, whereas if you did it on your mobile phone and you paid for it through your mobile service, you can actually cancel it that way um, through like your app store or whatever. Um, so you can cancel it that way. So I don't know, man. It was it was his chance to like, uh, according to him, he said it was his chance to raise money for Twitter uh, because they are on the verge of bankruptcy. Uh, which is why he bought the whole thing uh, for such a exorbitant price. He was like, yeah, you know, this needs to be about free speech and all this other stuff. But the problem with free speech is it's not free of consequence. So now that you have allowed people to do all of these chaotic things, it's like, all right, buddy, how do we, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. Like you just, you can't, it's already happened now. So I'm interested to see what Elon does with Twitter going forward. Um, but as of right now, man, people freaking out thinking Twitter's going to, you know, shut down and all this other stuff. 
It is my favorite of the social media platforms just because it's more reading involved than like imagery, but you know, whatever, I guess. So yeah, some people just I mean, don't like to read. <clears throat> I saw a lot of people going to hive and shit or like creating hive accounts. And I was like, let's be real for just for a second here. There is no fucking shot. Anybody's going to hive. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's not. There's uh people apparently going everywhere. I've I've seen just about everything. I've seen Hive. I've seen people promoting their Instagram. I've seen people promoting their own website. I saw one girl. She was promoting her Discord, and I'm like, Ugh, what the fuck? Like, why would you do that? Oh, well, um, everything but Facebook. Everybody's already got a Discord, basically. Yeah, I've, I mean, if you're a nerd, yeah, like, I mean, nerds use Discord. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not it's not an open I, I saw one girl she was posting about join my slack group i was like what the fuck this bitch what got a whole office a going on in here wait what is a slack is basically like a professional version of discord oh okay yeah 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 so but with more moderation limits and stuff like that it's intended for office use it's basically like microsoft teams <laughs> oh okay this bitch was like join my microsoft teams group <laughs> I've seen everything except for Facebook. I haven't seen people really promoting their Facebook or anything like Join that. Join my so. Facebook group? Yeah, I haven't really seen I haven't seen that at all. So you know. But hey man, what do you know? What do you know? It'll some people will get it together, some people won't, you know what I'm saying? So No cap. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry but, though. You know, we're about to we're about to make Twitter the best place it's gonna be. How so? <clears throat> We're gonna like impersonate a bunch of people, and that's oh, no, how we're no, gonna no. do it. Not for eight dollars. Not for eight dollars. <laughs> I'm not. That's 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 a lot. That's more money than we make on this podcast, man. I don't I don't that know if I'm down with that. It's true. Yeah, I don't know if I'm down with that. We don't we don't really we don't really got supporters like that. Speaking of not having supporters like that, if you guys uh, would like, please go ahead and support us on Patreon. There's gonna be a link down in the description. Um, we need to eat, man. We need to eat. We need to keep the lights on. We got to keep this this crazy commentary going. So if you guys have enjoyed this, please go and check out our Patreon. Um, we're going to have, uh, you know, significantly more content available in there. Some, some that's a little bit more racy, you know, uh, I actually <laughs> racy? have a, yeah, you know, I mean, I got a, how you describe it. Yeah. I got an opinion on, on the new black Panther movie, man. I want to, I want to share oh, specifically okay. for the Patreon this week, man. It's a, uh, and it's not really something you could talk. We could talk about on the show. So, okay, lots of racial slurs, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, um, no, I don't think so. No, actually, but yeah, man. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Uh, Plank, you have any projects coming up, man? Anything you're working on? Um, I know you're producing two other podcasts, so I'm just yeah. You know, I'm I there's two more that's gonna go on the Patreon that we got going. Uh, one more that you were doing, right? Yes, I have. Yeah, I got to upload that this week, actually. That should be going out tomorrow, today, tomorrow. One of those. We'll see. Because mm. uh, right now I'm, I'm cat and dog sitting. So I have my dog here and then my boss's cat and his dog. I'm going over to his place and feeding his animals twice a day and watching his house and stuff like that. So, mm. uh, you know, it's been... It's been great, man. It's been great. Um, actually, this leads me to a Patreon conversation that we can have. Um, so I can talk about that because it's not it's not as cut and dry as it seems. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some other there's some other details that, you know, I'm not willing to reveal on the full show. So Of you know. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway. Um, fuck that one bitch every week. Every oh week God. she knows who she is. Fuck that one bitch. Um, oh my god. So she knows who she is. She can burn in hell. I hope she falls going up some stairs and bust that big fucking gap tooth she has. Oh my um, god! But yeah. Anyway, am I gonna what? have to edit that out? <laughs> no, 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 no. That one's public. No. Nah, that was that was public. That That's was for crazy. the public. Yeah. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. If you know it's not you, then don't worry about it. So, okay. Well, you know they know who they are. True. Uh, yeah. I have one other project. I'm gonna be working on some shit for this my stream. If you want to check that. Oh. Out what yeah exclusive I decided, I decided that i'm gonna give it another shot i guess hey man listen how can how can i how can i move the needle forward how can i push this agenda what do i gotta do uh, uh i just gotta work i just gotta make some graphics and stuff oh okay for sure you need me, me 
any graphics designers, I need you guys to to reach out to us. Canonculture at gmail.com. Please, 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 please send us send us your nah, send us I'm, your work. I'm gonna be working on it. I think a lot. Oh, you're gonna be working on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just uh, I I want to do everything. Oh, so it's gonna take fifty years. Well, you maybe. sure? Why not? Why I not just like delegate I that? To do to it today, so I why not I... just delegate that to somebody else? So that way you don't have to worry about it. Like who? With what money? I, I don't, I, 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 listen, so anyway, if you guys are graphic designers or you know any graphic designers, please forward their information or your work to canonculture at gmail.com. We would at canonculturepod at gmail.com. Please, we would love to see your work. Uh, Plank desperately, desperately needs this. Listen, whatever whatever amount of money that you're asking for, please just Hello? <laughs> we'll, we'll work it fuck? out. Why we'll work something so, out, man. Why are you so desperate? <laughs> we'll work something out, man. Listen, Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. You want this done or not? Well, uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I got a, I got a couple people I can, I can recommend that make phenomenal stuff. So, um, sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, back to the Twitter topic real quick because I'm just now seeing this. This was like three days ago. Um, apparently Elon Musk also unbanned Jordan Peterson. I didn't even know Jordan Peterson was banned on Twitter. I didn't. Either. I didn't even know. Yeah, I, I didn't even know. Um, which is interesting because you know. He is a controversial figure, yeah, sure, but not that much. At least I wouldn't think. So uh, I think he he had a couple of opinions that Twitter I don't think liked. So. Mm, mm, true, true, true. Um, it's always the political stuff. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, let's see what else. There was oh, there was one other thing. That is a Pokemon thing, but like I investigated it. It's not as good as as it sounds. Um, oh, yeah, it's actually two Pokemane things. So apparently, um, you know, Pokemane and Corinna Conf are apparently having a beef right now. Um, <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she was on, um, I think it was some somebody's podcast who's way more popular than us. Um, True. We're talking about a, uh, pro, you know, she was talking shit about her gambling and all this other stuff and how that kind of backfired. And people have been suspecting that apparently there is a boxing match being set up between the two. Um, <laughs> of course, she match. of course, she denied all, all of it. But Corinna Comp said she would not be against it. So I don't <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I would love to see some lady boxing between Pokey and Corinna. Uh, because I, I truly believe Corinna would fuck Pokimane up. I, I, I just I just think that. Cause she has multiple she hangs out with tons of dudes. Uh she roughhouses a lot from from my my understanding. Um she's she's also been a horse tamer and she works out constantly. So no, nah, I'm I'm t- I'm putting my money on Corinna for sure. Like, yeah, she's gonna knock that bitch out in four in fourth round. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put my money like, on Pokemon you like for the that? eventual boxing. You gonna, you, you gonna put money on Pokemon? Of course. Oh my god. I don't think so. Don't you think know so Big P will win. <laughs> Big Pokey. Big Pokey, man. <laughs> Big Pokey will shut shit down. So okay. um, I would I would love I would love to see that, man. I think everybody would win. I think that would probably be the most watched YouTuber boxing match of all time. I truly that, believe it would. That could be true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it depends sure. how long it would be. Six rounds. Six rounds. Okay. Six rounds. Yeah, these girls, these girls, are not going any further than that. They don't have endurance. They barely have an endurance to stream. Come on now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't want to say nothing, but I mean, you know, I'm gonna say something. Like their online beef is cool and everything. Let these bitches bare knuckle box each other, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go. Put the gloves down. No headgear, nothing. Let these bitches swing no on each other. No headgear is crazy. First <laughs> Let these bitches swing. <laughs> It'd be like that episode of iCarly, man. <laughs> that should be crazy. So I'm excited. I want to see that. Um, also, apparently she had like a nip slip on, um, on stream. Yeah. Turns out good. wasn't really that much, man. I seen the footage. I, seen the I, footage? Had, I seen the footage, man. I even zoomed in and enhanced. Yo, enhanced is crazy. Fake news, man. Enhanced fake news, is bro. super crazy. Absolute fake news. So, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This shit is not. No bueno, man. Waste of time. Waste of time, man. Yeah. So. And the only reason why I found it, well, you know, and I'm not about to reveal my sources, but anyway, 
Uh, <laughs> just right. know that even in high resolution, this shit was whack. So, oh, okay. You had to upscale it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. had to upscale it. You know, 4K material. You know, mm. zoom in. Nothing. It was nothing. nothing. Nah. Nada? So. All bra, bro. No nip. No nip. No nip whatsoever. So. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. But that's pretty much it, man. I don't, I don't have nothing else except for, you know, Mr. Beast uh, surpassing PewDiePie as the number one uh, subscribed content creator on the platform. So congratulations to him. Congratulations so. to him again. I think we said yeah. it on one of the other episodes that I have. Yeah, heard. man. I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm actually uh, very excited. He's a very hardworking individual. So um, I'm interested to see where he goes with this, man. Uh, obviously, I'm a huge fan of Mr. Beast. I think he's the greatest content creator on the platform. I think he does something that nobody else can do or would be willing to do. Um, and, you know, I, I hope he uh, opens more Beast Burgers because I think now he has like one physical location. Um, and then the rest are like he has thousands of ghost kitchens so shout out to him i know that man making money money so hope yeah. the irs don't knock on his door they already are yeah so but that's pretty much it for me man um you got anything you want to share with the people before we get out of here um man uh thanksgiving is coming up so oh yeah make sure right. to have a that's good one obviously eat lots of food enjoy yourself be around family uh shit like that i'm gonna be i'm gonna be here at my house by myself so well i'm gonna be here but i'm gonna be at my house but i'm you know i'm gonna have family over so okay yeah no no um one more thing plank is uh as far as this year is anything that you're thankful for this year i know that's cheesy and corny as shit and we don't really do that on this podcast but um not right now i'm thankful for breathing i guess and water and agua i love uh, i love water stay hydrated what the fuck is with this guy (laughs) that was interesting Okay. What do you want me to say? The fucking oh, I you know I love my family. I'm so nah, thankful nah, for nah, my nah. friends. I was, like just Jay really Sama sure who's posting. Say. Oh, absolutely not. Oh my god. No, definitely not. Definitely not. You want no, me to no, do no, something no. like that? I could. No, do it. no, no. I can do it. Just let no, me know. Just write it in the script. No, man. No. Put it in the script, man. It's not necessary at all. I I just I wasn't sure what I was gonna get from you. Uh, I just thought it was just gonna be, uh, nothing. Honestly. I thought you were going to be like, oh, I'm thankful for nothing. Like, that's what I thought I was going to get out of here. That is fucking depressing. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a depressing. How yeah, depressed do you, you think I am? I just was th- no, that's not a depression thing. I just think you just don't fuck with thankful anybody. For that's nothing? all. Thankful for nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought you was. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I thought you were really about to be like, yeah, thanks for thanks for nothing. Thanks for nada. Like, I, don't, I just genuinely believe you don't give a shit. That's all. That's all I, I meant. Yeah. So. I think anyway. I'm thankful for the listeners right now. All the mm. people, all the the 20 people that will listen to this in like the next five years. I appreciate those guys. Oh, well, don't get mad when those numbers jump up and you'll be okay. like, oh, yeah, I got a plan, man. I got a nice plan. Uh, next week, we're going to have Marquez Brownlee. So make sure you guys join us. Uh, he's going to be our guest right next week. He's going to be fresh live in the discord call. So it's going to be nah, great, man. Up. I'm looking forward to that. Shout out to him. And then the week after that, God willing, if the if the meeting goes through, we're gonna have the one and only Markiplier. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. First week of December, we are gonna have Markiplier on the fucking podcast, man. Let's Don't worry, I'm, I'm not gonna leave this in. You're good. Yeah. Keep going. Spe- Spe- what? Hey, man, don't oh, man. lie to people. <laughs> don't be like that. Don't be like that. Listen, man. Sometimes you have to speak it into existence. That's all. So, what but anyway, talk we want to about talk to Marquez Brownlee about. Yeah, for sure. Uh, anything. Anything. anything? Yeah, literally. We want to start talking about um, iPhones. We can actually, um, and and what the content creation tools are looking like on iPhone. Because honestly, there's been a lot of like apps that I've considered using specifically for like editing audio and editing our podcast on there. Just because it's uh, like when I'm out and about, like I want to be able to record our podcast, right? Like mm-hmm. if I if if ever I'm not home and I have access to a halfway decent mic, and it's like oh, I, I could use some content creator tools because then I could make clips and all this other stuff because right now I'm using, um, when it comes to video, I use like CapCut. And it's pretty good. It doesn't put a watermark. So, so far, I think it's the best editing app out there and it's very like quick to the point and it's a- very much like an actual editor. It has like a timeline, sequences and everything. So I think that's really dope. But 
yeah, I would, I would love to talk to Marquez Brownley about a bunch of content creator stuff. So I hate mm. how you spun that. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I'm a professional. But anyway, we want to thank you guys for listening to this week's episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you're watching the video version, if you are listening to the audio version, make sure to give this five stars on Spotify. I think my dog is about to bark because my Amazon fresh order is being delivered. Um, but until next week, we'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it